How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. So um, in this video we're going to be talking about a burnt connector, if you can see it here. Um, I'm going to be showing how to replace that. This is the Ender 3. This has been the best printer I've had and have used. The other printers are great, but this is probably the, I would say, the most reliable. Uh, this is the first issue I've had from this printer, and I've had this printer for quite a long time. Um, the other printers have had um, some issues, and I'll do another video on that. Um, also, if you hear any background noise, my son isn't here playing Minecraft, um, so that's that. But yeah, um, we're going to be talking about this right here. I went on Amazon, I did find a, um, a cable replacement, it's actually a thicker gauge wire, as well as the new XT60H connectors. Um, so I'm going to be replacing this with those, um, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So first thing we need to do is we need to take this power supply off. There's actually, I apologize about the camera here, um, but there's actually a bolt here and a bolt down here. If I can get that to focus, focus for me. So bolt here, bolt here. Um, you can take them out with the standard uh, little um, Allen wrench that came with it. Once you get it off, we'll be taking these two bolts off. Um, and I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, got the two bolts out. Once you get the bolts out, just unplug this wire, and then this right here will slide off. Like so, let's see if I can do this one-handed. Can I do it? Oh, that's right. It slides off to where you can access the cable. Of course, those cables go into the switch and the output for the power. So, here are the wires here. If I can get these orientated correctly. Like that. Okay. So, here is the red wire we're going to be replacing. Here's the black wire we're going to be replacing. What you do with this, you just pop this right here up. And then of course that's Phillips. So we're going to go ahead and take those off. One second. All right guys, so I got this off. Um, I went ahead and kind of pulled it out, out to the side from here. That way we know which cables we're going to be replacing. We're going to be replacing this red, which goes to this cable, and this black. Of course it goes to the same cable and that's the burn mark right there. If you can, let me see if I can get it to focus on it. There we go, there's the burn mark. So I need, two, I need a Phillips head to get these two Phillips screws out. So I'm gonna go grab that and I'll see you in a moment. All right, I've loosened these guys up. I'm just gonna pull these out here. I'm gonna loosen this up a little bit more. I did cheat. I just had a flat head because I, these weren't tight at all. When I tighten these up, I will get a uh, Phillips head, but here's the wire now, as you can see. And I'm gonna show you the replacement wire. And this, let's see if I can get the camera to back up a little bit, there you go. This is the replacement wire. Um, as you can see, that's the new, let's see if I can get it here. That's a new ST, well, I, don't, I don't know if it's new, but that's the XT60H. That's the one we're gonna be using. Clip these little guys on the, on the ends here, and then we'll put it on here, and then we'll move on to the next part. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so I'm letting my solder gun heat up. Um, it looks like the, the red wire, they had a little, they put a little bit too much solder on it. Um, and I'm having to heat that up to get some of that off so I can fit it into the connector. So while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and look at the back here on the bottom of my Ender 3. That way we can find out what we need to do next here. Alright, so we finally got these trimmed here. And they're ready to be put on. Either I checked the connections, they're very snug, they're not moving. So we're going to put those on now, and then we're going to move on to the motherboard because the cable actually feeds into here, and it feeds into the board. So we're going to be looking at that next. But let's go ahead and get this replaced, and then we'll jump on to the Ender 3. All right, I got them in. As stated, I pulled out the Phillips screwdriver here. We're going to tighten these down pretty hard. And it's kind of hard to do it with one hand, but I'll tighten it down as far as possible, and then I'll go off camera and tighten it a little bit more. All right, I'm going to tighten these up, get the correct uh, Phillips head, and I'll see you in a moment to look at the bottom of the 3D printer. 
All right, so I got the wire coming out of the back here, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and bolt this down, and we're going to move on to the bottom of the printer. I think this is the piece that may be a little harder. I haven't done any research on this, um, so I'm going in this fresh. That's the way I like to do things. Go in as if I've never done it before because I haven't done it before. Um, that way you can get the raw experience and you can see for, your, for yourself that anyone can do it. Um, but let me, let me tighten these up and we'll look at the bottom of the printer. All right, here's the front of the printer. Um, we're going to be taking these two bolts out. There's also a bolt back here and there's one on the bottom around that same location. We more than likely will have to take off, so I'm gonna start here, work my way back. All right, so got these two bolts out. Well, almost out. Let's just screw this a little bit. You died. I'm so sorry you died. All right, so this is where they come off. I'm gonna unbolt this right here. So let's do that next. Pull this forward so I can access it. Oh my goodness. All right, there's the bolt right there. If I can just get it in there. We're looking at the camera to see where I'm at. Yep, okay, whoops. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Come on, you can do it. Where's that there? Nope, nope, there, okay, good. One second, we're doing it. I did it. Okay, where you at? There's the bolt down here. Come here, little bolt. Where'd you go? There's the bolt. Alright, push this back. Right, now this guy pops off here. And there's the fan. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with here. Well, I can tell you one thing that I, I do like. This is like the other boards. Um, it's actually just a screw. You unscrew, pull the wires out, put the new wires in, and then you're ready to go. So this is going to be much easier than I thought. Um, I was thinking I was going to have to do some soldering, and me and soldering, we just don't get along. But, uh, cool. And, uh, actually, hmm, do I want to do this now or wait for another video? I'll wait for another video, but let me show you what's coming very soon. One second, let me find it. All right, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek, but that's all you're going to get, okay? You're not getting anything else. This guy, right here, will be going in very soon. Yes, it is very pretty. But someone stole my rubber ducky. <laughs> Did you steal my rubber ducky? Yeah. Did you really? I was excited to show them that. You ate my rubber ducky? Yeah. So here's the board. I'm sorry. So disappointed that my rubber ducky is gone. There was a rubber ducky in here, but I think my son ate it. Did you eat it? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I really wanted that duck. All right, yeah, so that's coming in a different video. Not today. Not today, Junior. Not today, Junior. That's right. Um, so yeah, I need to make about 30. I'm setting up my, this is my new house, of course. Uh, this is the office. Um, this is what I'm working with with Oculus Rift. I have, uh, these little, um, mountable, uh, brackets for my sensors. I need to make about 30 of these for wire management. This, you'll see more of later on. This is a, this is also a little sneaky sneaky in the video. Don't say sneaky? No. Okay, I won't say sneaky. I'm sorry. All right, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to get these wires out. Out with the old and with the new. Out with the horrible design and with the better design that's not going to catch fire and burn my house down. All right, so see you in a moment. All right, guys, so we got it open. You remember that time when I said I wasn't professional? Well, I just uh, did something pretty dumb. Um... And I knew I, I knew it was wrong at, right after growing up. As I was doing it, I was like, this can't be right because these are thick wires. So I actually took out this, these two wires uh, starting out. Uh, these two wires go to the hotbed. I'm going to cut that video because I have her put them back in. The wires I'm looking for are actually hiding. This was right here. 
So I didn't see that, but actually if you just push this to the side, you can see them hiding right there, they're right there. And that's why I couldn't pull the wires out from the front because they're still connected. Yeah, fun times. So, I am going to go ahead and get these unscrewed so I can pull these out. Are you? Okay, you're keeping someone out from coming in? Are they trying to come into your house? All right, so now, let's give this a tug. Get it pulled out. Okay, as you can see, it is right there. Um, but the zip tie is holding us, but I'm gonna see if I can just pull past that zip tie, which I just did. All right. A lot more work than it should have been because I totally made a new mistake, which I do quite often because I go, get going a little too fast. So this is the wire, uh, that's the old wire. Throw that over there. I'm gonna get the new wire, which is right here. Ignore my, my janky setup with the tables. Uh, maybe I'll explain that one day in a video, but not today. What's the saying, Lamb? Okay, not not that one. Not today. Junior. Not today, Junior. <laughs> All right. Um, so here is the cable. As you can see in comparison, you can see the size difference with these guys. Red may be a little bit more defined. But yeah, these guys will not cause me any issues. But yeah, beautiful steam care products. If any of you are female and are interested in uh, skin care, go ahead and shoot me a message via email. And maybe I can hook you up with some uh, pretty pretty nice stuff, you know? Just throwing that out there for the wife. All right, so let's see if we can make life easy. Turn this printer. Push the, <laughs> the heat bed up. And we're gonna push the wires through the hole right there. So let's do that now. I may use a little bit of securing for wire management, but for now, I'm just gonna push her in there. I can't do this with one hand. One moment. All right, so there's my little cable cables right there. Man, can you focus? All right, so there's my cables. There is where I'm putting them. So we're going to put them in now. And we'll see if she powers up. She better. All right. So side note. Um, if for any reason, I'm sure many of you have experienced this with these uh, cheap printers. The um, bolts really aren't that great. They strip out very easily. So this one was stripped out. I concluded that there's no way I'm going to be able to get the wires the wires into this without taking this piece off. I got this bolt off. This bolt was stripped and I I don't remember stripping it so um, it was just not coming out. So what I did was I took I tried other uh, Allen, Allen um, angle wrenches or whatever you want to call them and it just wasn't working. So what I had to do was I had to pull out this guy. I used my hammer hammered it in and the guy unscrewed without any issues. So yeah, we got that off. Um, I'm now gonna pull this out, show you, get it. Yes? What are you doing? You don't know? Just take my bag. Okay, cool. So um, I'm gonna remove this, get this bolted up, put this back in, probably get another screw to replace that. I got some extras and then, um. We'll hook it back up, and we'll be good to go. See you in a moment. All right, guys. So uh, to make it easily, a, a lot easier to access, access here, I have um, unbolted this guy. I got it on its side, as you can see. I'm able to pull out this far. I could get it completely out, but I really don't want to break the glue, um, the hot glue that's holding it down, which is over there. Um, not, not until I replace this motherboard or this board. And that'll be coming soon, but I just got to put the wires in there, tighten those bad boys down, and then we're ready to bolt this back up. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and bolt it up as well. 
um, just to get this done as it's taking up more time to record. So um, I'm gonna have I'm gonna go ahead and put it all together, and I'll see you in a moment. All right. So everything is done. Everything is put back together. Got the wires ready to be connected. I'm going to uh, first put it behind me in its designated area. Point my lights to it so you can get a good uh, viewing of it. And we're going to try to turn it on together. So one moment, let's sit over there and see what happens. All right, we have it in its place. Ignore this. You did not see this. And this is uh, not for a future video. Um, not trying to show off anything too early here. But that is also coming. So a lot of things coming for the channel. Let's go ahead and get this guy hooked up back here. And uh, this is going to be a task with only one hand. So one moment while I do that. There she is. She is connected. Now, here's the moment of truth. I'm recording this part because I don't know if I'm on or off right now. I don't want to do anything and it comes on and you miss what I'm going to see as well. So uh, we're going to go ahead and hook this bad boy up. See if she turns on. All right, I got her hooked up. Um, it was on, it did come up, but let's sound like we see this for the first time. Oh my goodness, it works. It's so amazing. I actually do have skills. All right, so everything's up. Um, I do want to, because when I made my mistake, I did unplug the board or the bed. I do want to jack the temperature up to around 70 degrees, make sure she starts heating up. I know, phone, you're going to die. At least let me show the viewers that this, this, this is going to heat up. All right. She is heating. Alright guys, she is heating, looking good. Um, I'm going to have to end the video here. I need to uh, make sure I get this recorded and, and make sure my phone doesn't die. It's currently only probably 2%. Out with the old. And in with the new. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks for sticking with me to get this going. I know probably from your end it looked like a seamless and pretty easy thing. It is honestly an easy thing. Um, I just tend to make things hard and do it the hard way. So, um, got it replaced. Uh, steps are in the video.